everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I forgot to say that yesterday, but I'm from Western New York. And welcome to the Nona Grace Chit Chat. I um, am going to catch you up a little bit with those of you that don't know my backstory. I have a rooster in the house. A while back, well actually on August 1st, I brought a little egg in the house because the mother hen had abandoned it and it was about a week from hatching. So I hatched it in my homemade incubator. And for ever and a day, I watched this little bird and wondered, is it a rooster or is it a hen? Well, the mystery is solved. The mystery is solved. I have to tell you. <laughs> Yeah, um, and also there was days that I would talk to telemarketers and they actually tried to give me a little bit of hint, but the mystery is solved. Mr. Brown is a hen. He's a girl. Mr. Brown's a girl. I put it on my notes so I wouldn't forget to tell you. Now, a long time ago, I had two, two chickens. I started out with two chickens and I got them from my brother and I thought, sure, they're girls come to find out. And so I named them Gertrude and Stella. Well, Gertrude and Stella ended up being boys. So Mr. Brown, I could have swore was a boy. I could have swore he was a boy. He had all the traits of a boy. His wings looked like a boy. So now when I look at the wings, I'm going to be really confused because he didn't have the extra little wings. Usually girls have the, the boys have just just the whatever, and the girls have a little another another little batch in between. So you'd see this little batch of wings. He didn't have that. And when you hold the the little chicken by the jaw, their legs are supposed to be up if they're a girl and down if they're a boy. Well, he she dangled, he dangled. But am I going to change Mr. Brown's name? No, I think I'm going to leave him Mr. Brown. But I do say, you be a good girl. <laughs> I have said that several times to him. And he is a girl. Um, and I this morning when Jim got up, because Jim's not here, I do have a, I do have an audience. I'll have to show you my audience because it's really hard to talk when I feel like I'm here all by myself. So I put four lovely ladies there. I'll show you those lovely ladies. But this morning when Jim woke up, I said, "Do roosters lay eggs?" And he looked at me really confused because you know he's just waking up. And I says, well, Mr. Brown does. <laughs> he laid an egg. So let's go to the video and I'll show you that. Three solved. Mr. Brown is a hen. And it's too bad his egg broke, I believe. Did it break? No, it didn't. Well, no, it didn't break. Oh, Mr. Brown, you're a girl. What a messy mess. Ugh. To clean this up. This is what we find in the morning. There we go. There's Mr. Brown's itty bitty egg. Mr. Brown, you're a girl. Wow, did I ever get that one wrong with the wings and all. Well, good to know. Good job there, little one. Good job. And you pooped on the floor, I see. I have to clean that up too. If you're wondering how I clean up his poops, I have a little little dustpan that's got Cinderella on it and a little chicken or cat scoop, and I just scoop it on with two hands usually, but no, you don't want to mess with that. And I take it, and I just dump it, and then when I feel like it, I go outside. Like today is a good day. I can go outside and dump it. And then I take it over to the sink, I have a sink here that I can just run the water. Clean things off. It's actually rather easy. Cleaned off. And then I take it back and I put it back where I had it. And we're done. Well, Mr. Brown. And to clean your cage, I gotta have to clean your cage. I gotta clean this egg off first. Ugh, yucca. It's a brown egg. Did it crack? I, I, I don't know. Hey, Jake, Mr. Brown is a girl. Yeah, Mr. 
Mr. Brown is a girl. Yeah. Isn't that something? Well, Mr. Brown is a girl. There's Mr. Brown's egg. It's a little egg. I'll put my finger by it. It's little. It's a little egg. I washed it off because it was dirty. So, no more wondering why he doesn't have a crown. He's a girl. But that's good. Now, yesterday, when I was picking up Mr. Brown's poop, I noticed on one of the poops there was a little bit of blood, and I thought, Mm, that's strange. I thought maybe he ate something and it kind of scratched him a little bit when he pooped, but it wasn't. He must have had his period, <laughs> if you want to call it that. And this morning, there was an egg in the, well, you saw it, an egg in the cage. So you want to see my audience? I'll show you my audience. Say hello to the ladies. These are my kids' brat dolls that have that are on the shelf every day. And I decided I needed somebody over there because that's the chair that Mr. Jim would usually sit in. But he's not there. He had to work again tonight. And he says maybe this will be the last night. He's not sure about Friday. I hope he doesn't have to because, boy, it's not as much fun doing this video without him here. Well, that's the ladies. I don't. They don't have any names. I have never named them. I don't know if the kids have named them or not either. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you all had a great day. And I hope I explained so to catch those that of you that are just new with my channel, they didn't know I had a rooster. This rooster is in the house. Well, Mr. Brown is in the house. That my chicken. And you know, I've got comments about the telemarketers. Pretty soon the telemarketers are gonna put a warning by my number. They don't know who I am. But the guy did ask me yesterday what my name was. And I said, Nona. And he goes, oh, Nona. Hmm. He was a little confused. And I said, yeah, Nona. And so, but I have a feeling they're going to put someday, they'll put uh, by my number. They'll say, warning, do not call. This lady is crazy. She talks about chickens. So you never know. But that could be. And if that does happen, then my telemarketer calls will stop. Today I didn't get any. So we'll see you all tomorrow. Hopefully I get something to share with you. Bye.